Hello everyone, and welcome back to... <sighs> what is this map called? I almost said Sosnovka. Um, Gold Crest Valley, there we go. That was close. Alright, we are almost ready to harvest sunflowers, so I think while we wait, we're going to drop that off, and we'll s reset this bad boy. We really need money. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Are we going to get money at 8 o'clock? Well, a little bit. We may have to take out a loan uh, just to lease a header, but that's okay. We have plenty of money. Uh, and we have a nice, shiny, new uh, Deutz Far Series 7 tractor, which is all the rage uh, with the kids these days. So, you know, we are the hip, the hip young farmer in the neighborhood getting that tractor. We do need this. So we are going to test the difference between this, that does both, and this, and see if the only difference is the speed. So let's lease this, which means we do need to take out a little loan here, which is fine. No panicking, please. We'll be A-OK. -okay. Uh, let's lease the Capello Helianthus 12,000. I do want to lease it for that much, yes. Yes, I do. I don't think it folds up. I don't think I can attach a header trailer to this harvester. And the fact that I am unable and incapable of using header trailers means that I shouldn't even try. Um, so yeah, let's, can we fold this? No. This is all we got. It is a neat looking header though. I have, I have not used this yet. I have only used the regular, uh, like the grain headers, I guess, maybe I can call them. And then I've used the corn header for corn and sunflowers. I have yet to use this guy, but it is a ferocious looking beast indeed. So, let us slowly but surely get back to the farm. Okay, I gotta say, that was, uh, that was a harrowing journey, to say the least. I had to, uh, I figured out that the bridge was too, sm too narrow for a 12 meter header. So then I had to drive under the bridge on the railroad tracks, all the while fearing a train coming by, all law stand by me, uh, Will Wheaton, I love you. And uh, I made it. In the end, we made it. We're good. So both of these headers are 12 meters. So we are going to test their speed and their yield and see if they yield anything drastic. Anything of a significant uh, amount. So we're going to turn this baby on. Plus, I just want to see what the header looks like when it's on because these teeth are, uh, as I've said, uh, rather terrifying. So if I can select the right tool... Oh, the teeth don't even do anything. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's drive straight. Ooh, okay. So we are at nine meters. Meters? What are you talking about, Moose? Uh, we are at nine miles per hour and we are booking it. So yeah, if there's a change in yield, it's it's not gonna, uh, not a big deal. It has to be a pretty large change of yield. Uh, there's going to be a little bit because I miss stuff and, and whatnot. But this is definitely way faster. I have never harvested so fast in my life. Um, I, I will definitely get home in time for dinner if I continue using this header. Okay, so we've done, we have 1873. So let's empty it just because I don't want to do simple arithmetic this afternoon. Anything but that, of course. And empty this out. Oh yeah, it does look like sunflower seeds. Hmm. Okay, it's probably good since they are. All right, now we'll do the same thing with the corn header and see if anything's different besides the speed. So apparently this will be six miles per hour. 
but it should get about what 1873 uh, yield so we'll drive this I am driving this myself I'm not hiring a worker um, yeah so the speed is probably the only difference we're gonna see is that enough to buy a sunflower only header honestly I think so three miles per hour does not sound like a big deal but it is a 33 no it is a 50 percent increase if we're looking at just ratios I mean you're going 150 percent of the speed and if you you know do that across an entire field or if we get that header and we just completely go to sunflower planting I mean that harvester booked it that was nuts and we notice right now the yield is basically the same about 1800 so we know that the yield is no different the only difference between the headers we have proven it here today if I can turn this off and fold this bad boy up why do we keep hitting the flashlight flashlight yeah that's what that's what we use on a harvester we uh, turn the flashlight on when it gets dark it really helps us out just turn that old flashlight on uh, but we have proven it here you you heard it here first folks or third fourth fifth or maybe this is the 72nd time you've heard it in your life the sunflower harvester is just faster but I didn't th okay so I didn't think there's gonna be that much of a difference even f knowing that the only difference might be the miles per hour nine to six I just didn't expect it to feel that different but holy cow I just felt like we were booking it so we will finish up the field with this header since we already have at least we have to pay very very small amounts per hour um, I didn't actually look at the price but it's pretty negligible really the only time leasing gets super expensive is, is if you use um, well every day you have to pay a, a, quite a bit and then you have to pay a large amount every hour you use it kind of like in real life like you have to pay for usage um, if I can get this back on uh, worker Willie and or Wilma are gonna be super happy today when they get here because they Oh, this is also just going to save us time in uh, hiring a worker because we don't have to do it for long. I mean, we'll potentially. Oh, I don't want to say that what I was about to say. I don't think the math's right if I say that. But we'll have the I mean, either way, we'll have the worker for less time than we would if we had the other header. So how much? It's like 50,000, though, isn't it? Yeah, 54. But I, I do think if you're upgrading your headers it might be worth is that the only one? Oh no there's this one it's only 5.7 yeah 5.7 to I guess 12 it might be worth it I uh... yeah because we already have this header this is the best one we can get here and we have this one oh we need to upgrade this one 10.5 yeah, it's not too bad all right I like that's great once it's done we will lease the old or uh, return the old header there and why is this disconnected oh yeah because I was gonna mow oh no here's what we're gonna do we are going to push that aside get this guy fold it up so I can drive a little faster oh this Deutz I keep expecting this tractor to be the old New Holland, and so I thought it was going to go really slow. But no, this thing is amazing. We'll go around here. We'll switch the seed to grass. And we are going to sow this field in grass. Yes, folks, we decided we're going to do it. We're going to see the Easter egg. Yes, I know what it is. Thanks for letting me know, but I already knew. I wasn't saying anything because I didn't want to spoil it on the video for my viewers. Um, but yeah, 
we will plant it here, then we can... Why am I having such a hard time just... I'm talking and not at all paying attention. And I just sort of keep going forward and back and up, forward and back and up, forward and back and up. And you stop listening to me. You're just watching what's going on, thinking, Moose, what are you even doing? You're not even talking. Then you realize, oh, he, has, he actually is talking. He's just talking about nothing. Uh, and then you maybe can see ju why justifiably I was uh, not driving well. So that's how that went just now. So we're going to plant this in grass. It does take a while. I think when I made my uh, grass fields tutorial, it took like two days, two or three days. I had to fast forward. Um, I won't do that, of course, because we are doing the let's play now, but uh, but yeah, once it's fully grown, there will be a nice pretty little easter egg, I guess, and uh, then we have a lot of field to mow. If we ever want to revert back to seed, all we have to do is get that same sower, since it cultivates at the same time, and we can just plant whatever we want, and it won't be so permanent because we don't have to use a plow. These should be fine, because I think I just did this like a day ago. It always feels like a lot longer since I only record these every day or two, but... Okay, let's go get the loading wagon. Oh wait, is that already ready to go? Yeah, that's already harvestable, so I just need to finish that. I can also hook this up the correct way. We also can plant some seeds here. Okay, let's just do some light mowing. There's a lot of tools on this tractor. There. And then of course we, oh gosh, how much is the um, back mower? 42, and then a windrower is, I mean 28 at the least. We don't, this one's such a waste of time. Okay, ugh. So next time we get money, now that we have our awesome two tractors, I think the next thing we're going to invest in is a, a back mower for this. So we can put both of these on the back and a wind rower. And that'll speed up this process quite a bit. And if we have a field of grass, we can hire workers instead of uh, having to kind of just do this all ourselves. Um, but I will go ahead and, well, no I won't because this guy, you know, I'll just finish this myself and save us a little worker money since this is pretty easy. And we can probably go in this view and just go right in the center and watch the sunflowers being mowed down in the prime of their life. Prime of their, the prime of their lime. Name that show. The show is Friends, if you didn't get that. I think she's sick, and she's sick, and she says she's in the prime of her life, but she says, like, prime of life. It's great, Monica. Ah, great show. Great show. If you didn't grow up in the uh, 90s or early aughts, then you probably, you may have missed it, but it is on Netflix. Highly recommend. Go back, Friends. It's so good. Especially if you're in your late 20s. Oh my gosh. It, it, was, it was really bizarre. Um, so as I'm getting uh, older, I'm starting to realize that viewing things that I had once viewed or just experiencing things, you know, reading a new book or reading a book I've once read, uh, anything like that at a new age is usually completely different than when I had done it previously. So I watched Friends like when it was coming out, so I was probably like junior high-ish er era age, whatever you want to say. Uh, probably age would be more appropriate. Okay, let's return this before I uh, continue story time with with Moose. Um, garage. Lease. Uh, I'm going to miss this thing. I, I really want one now. That was kind of amazingly fast. Uh, how Wow, that was, that was really great. So, we can turn this, uh, pipe this in. We'll pick up the old uh, header here. And we'll go start harvesting more soybeans. So yeah, I watched Friends like in junior high, and then like watched it 
pretty regularly, like after school, it'd be on for an hour or whatever. Uh, and then watched it like intermittently over the next decade and a half, I guess, decade ish. I went back a couple years ago. I was in my late, I mean, I was like 26, 27. I went back to it and, and rewatched almost all of them on Netflix. And in the show, that is the age they are. And it was really strange, I guess, to see a l kind of how realistic that show actually was, like kind of how true it was. So, when I, you know, in junior high, since they were quote unquote adults, it just seemed like they were always like figuring stuff out and they were always like not all with it they didn't have everything kind of figured out and in junior high I'm like what what they're they're adults like what what is going on um, and then of course now that I am of that age I realize oh okay yeah that's yeah you don't you don't have much you're still still figuring it out still kinda I don't know, you just don't feel as old as you thought it was at the time, I guess, so. Um, yeah, uh, revisiting things with new perspective, new experiences is always just very, it's just, it's, in, it's interesting. Um, and it's kind of fun, like, anyway, let's move on, let's farm. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, just decided to talk, and sometimes, not a good idea. Alright, let's go to morning, and... Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the farm on this lovely, brisk 5.55 a.m. Uh, kind of day. We're going to keep mowing here because we need grass. Why do we need grass, you ask? Probably for... See how I put that K on there? That's important. Uh, mostly because we need silage. Uh, I just want to make sure that gets filled back up. And the nice thing is we don't even have to blanket it. We can just put it in there because the cow's already fed. Oh, look at that. The grass is already growing. Gosh, I may just keep that forever. I mean, if we have that plus this, anytime we do grass, we will have a ton of it. Tons and tons. And then we can get a silage bale wrapper and make $1,900 per silage bale, which is crazy to me, but really, really awesome. Uh, we also need... Yeah, once that's done, which is... I think it has one more pass. Uh, you know, I could save some money on a worker by just doing this myself. Lower that down. Yeah, I don't I don't sew too often. Just because I can't really drive straight. The ridge markers don't help me out. I, I'm just really bad at it. Cultivating, sewing plowing. Everything else is fine, but those two, those three things very, very, very bad at. But look at that, we have a field of grass. We did it. We have a lot, a lot of grass. Okay, we don't need to uh, fold this, we just need to switch it to soybeans. Do we need anything else? Let's see. Uh, good, good, good. Oh, we could do just some canola. Oh, that would probably be good. Yeah, let's do canola. Just so we have a little more storage of canola for our pigs. Since we don't want to dip into our soybean or sunflower storage. Since that'll all be just for money. I think this will be a proper backup. That was a little... A little better than last time, and we'll make sure we are good to go, and we're good to go. All right. Okay, I think that's where we will leave this. I will finish mowing this little patch of grass off camera, just so when we come back, oh wait, Wait a minute. Didn't last time it took me this whole th 
Didn't I do have to do this whole rectangle to get 100% grass? Or did I dump it and then f finish? Huh. We're almost at 100%. We could almost just get 100% and go dump this at the cows. Right? Okay, I'm... Let me... Ch I didn't even check my animals. Yeah, it might be worth just going down... And covering up. We'll have 10... Oh, wait. No, we'll have like... Okay, no. Before I finish, let's go ahead and just get this to 100%. And then we can take this down to uh, the silage. Down by our cows. Dump it. But we won't blanket it. Okay, so we can turn this off and raise it. And let's skip ahead to the cows. I gotta say, I love this tractor. This is the Lamborghini. It is so fast. It is just flying through the map, even with the loader uh, full of grass on the back. It's so great. Let's go ahead and dump this. We'll have 21,000, and the next time we'll fill this up again. So we're not gonna blanket this. We are going to try to get about probably almost 40,000 uh, silage made here. But we do want to compact this. So my biggest advice is to compact as you go. So we'll do that. We'll keep driving over it and just wait until it's at 100. And that sort of has worked for me at least so that it doesn't get all messed up. I don't know if the new patch has fixed that, but I have not updated it to the new patch due to fishable effect there. 100%. We could blanket it if we want, but we don't. Also, in my defense, okay, I just figured, I found, I saw this yesterday. So if we go here, we can blanket this, okay? In my silage video, I said you had to get to 10%, like you always had to. In my defense, I was loading up this game the other day, I think like yesterday, and one of the tips, one of the tool tips says, once it's at 10%, you can cover it. So even the game says you, can, you have to do 10%, but then I guess they forgot to put that in because I don't think you actually need 10%, so, which I like better. I, I like being able to put whatever you want in and covering it. It's, it's way nicer. So anyway, I'm going to drive back to the farm. We will continue farming in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a very nice day.